Alrighty, let's see. To go, ready to play is ready. We're gonna we're gonna hit this off. All right, let's do this. Who are a referee? Yep, we're making so we can talk shit to them and they'll see yeah. it. We can talk to both of them. All right. right. All right, so I think the plan is we're going with two best and threes. Uh, both people playing manipulation because he wanted to play. All right. Well, we got ourselves a random V Terran. Oh yeah, he wants to play random. I really hope he gets Zerg just because he's bad at Zerg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I have this like intense hatred for him, but I don't. I don't actually hate you, manipulation. Yeah. There, there you go. Oh, look at that! Look at the matter. <laughs> okay, so in the top left-hand corner, we have. It is all in holiest of space animals. I don't know. Space folk. I said space animals. I think this is melee. <laughs> Fox Falco. No. So, so that that if that's the case down here in the uh, bottom right, we have uh, all in's very own. I don't know. Jigglypuff. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Manipulate. But, but actually, yeah. Manipulate. yes. Uh, I think kind of quiet. Let me, let me let me boost up the Skype a little bit here. How to do this? Uh, where, okay, okay. All right, cool. I think you're a little better now. So actually, you weren't here yesterday, but we played um like a best of seven internal like Masters v Masters kind of like pro league style thing. Um, and manipulation played against Exile that's random, and told Exile that he was Zerg when he was actually Protoss. Really? Dirty. Dirty stuff. Wow. Inside a, t a clan it's in, like, Inside a clan thing. That's, that's, that's something. So, so he's, so now he's got the, the, the next level mind games of, is he telling the truth right now? Mm -hmm. The Space Pope, did Space, first of all, did Space Pope see the game yesterday? And two, did he, is he uh, going to believe if he's telling the truth or not? Also, I mean, third base, wow. I mean, Space Pope is going for the, like, safe Baron. Reaper expand. I mean, the only thing that this is awful against is if his opponent is going two or three racks to Reaper mm -hmm. and his Terran. Yeah. Well, so I personally am terrified of that build, so I'm like always preparing for it, even if I'm playing against random. But <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well. We. Well. Manipulation is going for the four hatch before a pool action here, because oh. you know. That seems like this. This one Reaper may win the game. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. I <laughs> the only thing is, if, if, if Space Pope had scouted, and had an idea this is going, and he kept making Reapers, I think that he could just overwhelm them and win the game. Yeah. I don't know about one Reaper, but I think eventually they'll get Lings out. And yeah, like, one I Reaper's guess, not going to do it, but... Like, I guess Manipulation's idea Ooh. is... Ooh, oh, that, that looks... Be, that like, hurts. Quick drones. Uh, two quick drones real fast. But I guess the argument here is with four hatcheries, you can make... So yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? you lose like but a whole bunch of three, drones, right? That is three drones right away. All right, Spacebook comes in. He's gonna see it. This, this swine pool is a little bit weirdly timed. Slipper Reaper gets away from all the all the drones. All the drones. He pulls the drones into the grenade. You know. So we're seeing another command center go down. There's another one. So looks like he's gonna try and macro this. Yeah. Um, I'll be interested to see by the end of this of this Reaper versus. Oh, I didn't, didn't. Okay, well, Reaper's dead. They did get. He got five, ki five kills. Four, four, five. Very like five. legitimate number of kills. A good, good, a good amount. But if he's got four hatcheries, we'll see. My question is, does Pope ever scout the base? Like, does he at some point go, oh, well, let's like check that base? Yeah. Well, he didn't even scout the third yet. He assumed that he never got. He blocked the third. Well, actually, if you saw that that spineful time, he probably thought, okay, something else yeah, is I out think there. He, I think he knows that, the, there, that there was a third. Yeah. Uh, especially with putting down his own third, like I, you don't do that unless you're reasonably confident yep. that you can get away with it. Uh, I'm gonna go save the Overlord with these uh, these links. All right, cool, good move. I hate that when the Overlord's getting killed by one Marine out on the map. Oh, look at the setting the Marines over there to kill. Very nice. The one thing that that Pope did that I that I know is so meaningless, but I don't like is dropping the mule on the exposed natural. <laughs> Why do you not like that? Because the Muslim? if the Lings run in, because, and I say this because before, before when the Marine was attacking the Overlord, for yeah. a minute I thought he was going to dart the, the, the Lings in and kill the Mule. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's one of those It's one of those things that's completely meaningless and shouldn't actually factor sure. into the game, but like one in every 20 games it matters. Okay. All right. I, I get what you're saying. I guess you also, you, you want the, your internal base to be 
it's a safer mining base, so you want the yeah, mi I mean, minerals I guess back there, there, right? There's an argument that maybe if you want your bases to mine out, it's like whether or not you want to mine your first base out quicker or slower yeah, yeah. is an interesting question, so maybe there is something I, there. I think I watched the Muslim stream one time he was talking about it. I can't remember what he said, though. What he, I, he does Yeah, Muslim used to talk about this all the time back in the part of the swarm about, like, you really should always mule your main. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if things have changed with the new economy at all. Mm -hmm. Manipulation compared to this reaper, though, kills it. Doesn't really get that much scouting. Yeah, it and doesn't matter. He's, get, he's going for the scouting anyway. Yeah, but the, oh, the that's, I mean, theoretically, that, that reaper yeah, dying yeah, yeah. cost him a mule. Yep, Which, yep. You know, little, the little things. And, you know, cost of reaper. But this, uh... 60 drones. Yeah, with four, with four hatch, it's pretty... Your drone count gets out there pretty quick, especially because he hasn't dropped that third base yet. Um, Space Pope hasn't. Yep. He's got it sitting there, but he hasn't moved it out to his third yet. 60, it's 60 drones and three links. So... so What's the armor like? like? We're going into bio tank. Tanks making a bunch of barracks in the way. Stim. Oh well, he spots it now. Well, now he knows. Now he's like, wait a second. Why is there a base over here? Now the interesting question, though, is as good as that base was for a while, it's not going to be that easy for him to get stuff over there. Like that's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I would have liked to see a little more crease spread towards that, th that fourth base, but hold the drones. Woo. Now, if he Michaels is right, he should be able to kill everything, right? Yeah. Do you think that he's oh my God. spread creep in order to try and hide the base? Uh, no. Maybe, but no. That was another eight workers killed on that. Yeah, eight, he's nine. now lost twenty drones. Yeah. Is, yeah. Very and now he's bringing some more back. And more drones to die. Healing. Yep. All right. So that evens up the work count a little bit. It's fifty-five to forty-six now. Not not too bad. Yeah. The only thing though is, I feel like when your opponent goes this many bases, like has their four quick bases, Zerk has so much larva. Yeah. yeah. That you can kind of remake drones pretty easily. The the big thing now is if Pope follows it up with an attack and like catches yeah. him. Droning. Droning. Yeah. Well, one thing I was I was just noticed noticing is like how much holy crap overload spread manipulations got. He has the entire map scene. He sees the entire map, which is really nice. <laughs> oh, a couple of roaches getting caught out. A little bit of an awkward situation here. These it's roaches up at the top of the map. Big an army though. Like, yeah. This should be pretty easy to shove back. Um, granted, if if, if Pope's doing what I think he's doing, it's more of just a go kill some creep. Yeah. Head of actor good. Well, it only has one medevac. I'd like to see more medevacs. Uh, let's see. Oh, the road. Oh! Oh, he got it? Oh, he picked it up. Wait, no. Is that a different siege tank? This, these rocks here do make it very interesting for tanks with medevacs to sort of maneuver. Yeah, around. definitely. Oh, this. Oh, no, the siege tank. A little, little bit sloppy here. Let's live in a couple of siege tank out there. Oh yeah, these two rocks. I, I when I played this map uh, today, I only played a couple games, but I killed those rocks immediately. I saw I was like, that's gonna be annoying to deal with. The drone count is actually surprisingly low, low right now. Yeah. Well, he made all his all his roaches to deal with that push. Yeah. And he's only at sixty drones, so I feel like we're pretty. He just see where the economies are. Yep. And I guess as great as manipulations. Overlord spread is. It does mean he's liable to lose a bunch. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So it looks like Space Wolf is just going to pull back. My, uh, mule up his third. Really Get his army up. He needs something really to deal with all these roaches. Third, though, he's like way oversaturated on both his main and natural. Oh, yeah. No SCVs on his third. Not way oversaturated as natural, but you know, oversaturated. Not way oversaturated in his main. Yes. Somewhat oversaturated in his natural. Here comes a here comes a roach push out here. They have one one. What's a space host upgrade? Zero zero. No no upgrades even started. So this, these roaches are just gonna wreck house honestly. Yeah. Although now Pope's kind of pushing out. So this looks like this could get into a little bit of tradey. A little tradey, yeah. Only ready to take base tradey, but oh, he, he comes all the way back. Yeah, he okay. stims back too. And this is going to be very tough now because these roaches are in such a strong position where the tanks can have trouble after sieging. Yeah. Or, uh, or just getting well, he could sandwich them here. A little bit. 
If he micros this right, does get hit by all the biles. There are three siege, four siege yeah. tanks here. Looks like he's gonna clean it out with the medevac help. Yeah, the one thing that yeah, it's probably starting to even up. So yeah. Yeah. Wasn't well, too didn't bad. Lose yeah. all that much. That was actually a very good engagement then. Yeah, so I don't know how much out. he actually lost there besides the supply depots at the front. Yeah, a couple of marines, but yeah. Those you can play. And he also has three bases. I guess pretty. They're they're up now. I mean, he just wasn't taking a fifth, so. Not that yeah. he needed it really, but because he wasn't mining too greatly on his third and fourth. Yeah, Pope's gonna need a fourth though pretty soon. His main's pretty much dry. Yeah. So. Well, well, it's gonna, this attack, in about a gonna second, it's gonna be 2 2 for 0 0 though. And that's gonna be real tough. Mm -hmm. Although, this is a great spot. Uh. Oh, that was an almost filled medevac. Oh, you better get out. It would have been a great spot if he wasn't completely surrounded by roaches. <laughs> Granted, part of, I mean, at some point your army is just smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Although the supplies are even. Oh, he's got to hold this fourth. This is going to be rough. Definitely get the cancel here. Now, now you're starting to see the roach army just sort of ramp up in size. Yeah, definitely. Yes. So this drop down here that I'm just killing. Oh, I was just kind of chilling out there. Yeah, that's true. And we're also seeing an Ultralisk Cavern go down. The, the GG list. That really spells some trouble because without um, no Ghost Academy, no Thors, no Liberators on the map, it's it's not going to be easy. I mean, you're seeing double Starport go down. Yep. Um, but on three bases and what is now essentially two. It's really hard to Especially support. with uh, only 1-1 one, one finishing up now. Yeah. And he's getting 3-3 three, three, uh, range attack coming up. Mm -hmm. Nice drop in here, though. He's going to kill some drones. At least try and pull manipulation to tank Ah, uh, run. Medivac. The problem I'm seeing now here is I, I'm not really seeing how he's going to get up a fourth. Oh, oh wow. Just sniped. Really snipe off the medivac. Because he's yeah. going to have such a tough time... I feel like this map I'm looking at it just from for Karen, it looks like a pretty hard to defend for. Especially especially the, the, that that right side fourth base, especially since manipulation was uh, expanding towards the right here. Yeah. That fourth compared to his fifth, it's like real close. Yeah, it, it, this is such a hard because there's so much air he's gotta cover and he's gonna move in here and I yeah. think this is gonna spell. Oh yeah, I don't even well. think it matters. Yeah. With this upgrade advantage, this overwhelming force with the bios hitting everything. And he moved double drop out if needed. Yeah, half his army is in there. Five his army that is even here. His third is gonna fall. His fourth is moving down. So now, and all these these SCVs are getting hunted down. Yeah, this drop here is you know is what it is, but it's nah, not. It's not gonna win Oh, he's even dancing the roaches. Manipulation, the BM king. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just looking. My first thoughts on this map definitely. It looks like a it, taking a fourth as parent against her. It's going to be relatively difficult, especially if your opponent is, expands. Yep. He's coming in the back. Direction of the fourth. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was, I was I was playing this map and thinking, okay, your third's a little exposed, your fourth's a little exposed, but where the hell do you take your fifth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless you take the entire side of the map, right? Yeah. He's the well, space Wolf still tried. He's got the, he got this drop in the main. He's still going for it. Yeah. See if he can snipe anything off. Oh, and ultra pops. Gets I, out. I, I think even I think this Ultra can kill like infinite marines. There comes the snipe. You ready? Point. Ready for the snipe? Ooh, ooh. There's a GG. Yeah, I would, you know, if he was really swagging out, he would have uh, filed those uh, medevacs instead of hydring. That was that was the that was a weak way to go for it. I, I think like you can have infinite one one marines against a seven armor Ultra, and none of them, and you'll just never kill it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, All so right. that was a very exciting game one. Saw some All right. nice attacks on the roach. Um, should I choose next map? Do they care? Uh, <laughs> there's what, two new maps left, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. Coin. What's the next one? Uh, they're. The eight person crazy one, right? Yeah. Or yeah. the invaded. And the invader one? Yeah. Let's go invader. Okay, we'll go Invader. Yeah. 
Are these just practice games? No, these are actually games that decide the fate of all of humanity. And the, well, at least the, for these two players. The loser gets um, sacrificed to the god of something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe we feed the loser <laughs> to, to Donald Trump to make him give him some power. Yeah, we'll feed him to Donald Trump. I can see Donald Trump eat, feeds the other souls of the innocent. The nice thing, we do get some multiple matchups because yeah, because it's random, right? Although with our luck, it's going to be all three are going to be <laughs> all going to be ZBTs, <laughs> which honestly I really like ZBT. But yeah, yeah, no, I mean of all the matchups, it could be it's, that's totally fine. It'd just be kind of funny that manipulation. Are you ready? Come on. He's got to you know remeasure his keyboard, make sure everything's in the right place. Yeah. Right oh my God, dude! All right, so. At the uh, at the cheese duck I don't know who it was. Somebody who was playing on stream had a had a actually had a. Um, I, I think he's okay. I think he's ready. Actually had a um, a ruler and a mm -hmm. coming out. I was like, holy shit, who is that? I don't know. It was one of those random North American GMs because you know there's so many of them. I didn't know who any of they were. Any of them were, but yeah. I was like, holy shit, it's like it's Flash. <laughs> So this is locked, uh, close air, and... There's no cross. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, no cross. Oh, goody, I, it's your favorite matchup. The best matchup in the entire world. <laughs> if you two are actually for it. Yeah, of course. Alright, so in the top right-hand side of Invader, we've got Space Pope. And down here in the bottom right, we have the current leader of the series 1-0, All In's Manipulation. Oh, I can do this thing. I forgot. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot. I figured out how to do the, the, the zoom thing. No, the um, the scoreboard thing. <laughs> it's overlay. All right. So we're as of now not seeing a uh, manipulation tellers race. Also, <laughs> we I didn't say it this time. I. I think we may be seeing CC first. And Maybe. That's a bold move again in if random, you CC isn't it? First, and your opponent goes two Rax Reaper, you lose the game. If you go CC first and your opponent goes one Rax Reaper, you don't lose the game, but you're in a lot of trouble. I just feel like against random, CC first is a pretty scary. Oh, actually. Well, no, he's random. Oh, he's random. Never mind. I forgot this manipulation. Good point. But he did the scout, which means Space Pope knows. He's yeah, random. He's tearing. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Let him in. Let him in. And this is a. This looks like a one bait. Uh, this is not Reaper. So, manipulation might kind of get away with this a little bit. But this is a one bait tack build. Yeah. Double gas, right? And I don't know. One base tech. Oh, oh my god. Never mind. I manipulation. I don't know. Now I have no idea. Right. This, this is just, this this just BM. I don't know, man. This shouldn't work in any way. He should lose. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no way. He should, he should lose. Should well, to be fair, he didn't scout. Um, Space Hope didn't scout uh, an SCD, right? So he doesn't know where he is yet. So if he goes top left, then bottom left. Oh, yeah, yeah, top left, then then cross. No, top left, then bottom right. If he knows where he can spawn. SC I mean, I don't know. It's a new map, so I feel like he doesn't know the SCD timing all that well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for the SCD timing, he, should, should, he sh could know, but I don't think he knows it yet. No, it definitely doesn't because he's going he's going the wrong way. Oh, awkward. Well as long as he doesn't go Don't scout. As long as he knows not to go cross, because that's not possible, right? Yeah. Banshee's incoming, well, considering he's got three, three racks. command centers. Three command centers, three racks. Alright. So, yes. I know I was very critical in saying that this should not work. You should just. <laughs> I, and I'm not gonna see. There's. It's gonna know, work. It's <laughs> going to end up working. It's and gonna end up work. Looking really silly. Yep. But hey, hey, don't you know? Don't make calls in a, a StarCraft match. You can't. You can't do that. You're not allowed to. I know, and I'm gonna get punished for it. Why? <laughs> Hard. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> in my expert gold level Terran experience. Oh no, I'm flat. You're flat now. Well, I don't know if you got flat level yeah. Terran experience. You should never be able to go three CC. <laughs> Before racks in TV. Yeah. 
But but TV random is a whole different matchup. That is true. Although I treat TV random like TVT because TVT is so bad. Wait, where did you just scan? So oh, we scanned there. I'm so bad at it that I. Just, <laughs> just let it play out. Just let it play out. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Space Hope locking up an SCV. Oh uh, no, Space Hope, don't do it. Don't don't scout cross. You can't be there. The only problem now I'm seeing though is that if these two liberators get into position, manipulation is going to have. A Trouble. <laughs> I don't think he realizes that it's. He doesn't know where he is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just if, if these liberators get in position, it's gonna be very, very hard. There's a lot of spawns on this map. Oh no, he didn't see the spawns at the beginning of the map. <laughs> no. Mm, <this> is... <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm so sorry, Space Pope. Because mm. there's no Starport. There's one turn of mind in the middle lines, but. Alright, here comes the two liberators. Now, where is he gonna put these liberators? He doesn't know where he is yet. Here comes the reaper. See, he's gonna know. He's gonna know now. He's gonna know now. He's gonna see a bunch of marines at the front of his base. Alright. How many liberators make? Give me two. Just two. And he's switched over. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's see what these liberators can do. Thank you. Shout out some manipulation for telling me how to follow uh, units in a hotkey. I didn't know how to do it for a while. It's Control Shift F. I didn't know how to do that. These turrets, though, he uh, definitely ready for it. Well, the other thing is, ouch. These marines, you know, mm -hmm. not that much at the front of Pope's base. Oh, that's that's nothing at the front of his base. He's gonna get the cancel for sure. I think, right? I don't. I don't know if the star step was really necessary, but yeah. He's gonna get a cancel. Oh. Oh, it was so close! Ouch. After going 3cc before. Back. Yep. Oh, and the, well, he's gonna get these marines to the front with his liberator. Unless he's got some. He may not get cancelled. If he's not paying attention, he might not get the cancel. Come on. Space Hope. Go for it. Alright. Both of them are looking at manipulation space, not Space Hope's base. Alright, there we go. He's not gonna get the cancel. I don't think. Yep. He's good. Uh oh no! Oh, the liberator he gets out <laughs> with with 12 HP. <laughs> well, all right, this is not actually as bad as I thought it was. Space up denied mining on the natural. This liberator did some damage in the main with three kills. This liberator at the natural got four kills. He got he got his natural love space folk. He got a siege tank. He got some marines. He's not. Yeah, the only thing, the only Terrible. thing is, he is, he's down a bunch of workers and down a command center. Yeah. So, economically, although, this oh, yeah, is really hard to get, this is what I was saying earlier, like, without an early starport, mm -hmm. like, finally this Viking's out, like, <laughs> it just gave, um, a lot of room for, for Pope to do damage. Yeah. Um, now we're seeing Pope stay on Liberators, um, which is interesting. I think Terrans are still kind of experimenting what? with, like, what's the proper liberator to viking to medevac ratio in this matchup yeah um yeah I, I don't know too much about this matchup but uh i i've seen a lot of like almost using liberators instead of siege tank type shit where you just like yeah get a whole bunch of circles going the thing is it's like it, it's made air i mean air Sparrow was already a major like such a big deal and it's kind of become even more so because mm -hmm. If you have air superiority, you can also get ground superiority. Actually, use your liberators to do stuff. Yeah, that's true. You know, you're not you're not just sitting with a bunch of Vikings just kind of like derping. Yeah. But Vikings <laughs> are still so important because of their vision and because they're still actually the best thing for liberators. Yeah. He spots the siege tank. Can he snipe the siege tank off the liberators? No. Nope. It's, it's hard to snipe. <laughs> yeah, I know. With liberators. Yeah. You ever see that um, that top whatever plays? From uh, SC2 highlights, where they were just chasing a siege tank around with two liberators, and he kept like dodging in the circles. Mm -hmm. You need like the Benny Hill song to play it during that or something. So these two tanks here, this is going to be relatively hard to attack in this path. Although this is what I was saying earlier about this flight, I like these little. All oh, these rocks. I think this is an interesting mechanic of the map because uh -huh. it adds an interesting dimension here. Yeah, you can get a, get around a little bit. You don't have to run up through this little choke point here. Does he even now see it? See oh, he does see it. Okay. The tank over here, which in theory, is there... the other side a little bit. Mm. There's no meta vacuum manipulation, you can't just like move the tanks yeah. around and drop. Oh there's two, oh, there's two actually, never mind. He's 
you can have a much harder time. And the big thing with no medevac also is it means that, well, here it comes too, but yeah. this finishing is what, if you don't have medevac, it does mean you have a much harder time leaving because your opponent yeah, can yeah. pick up their tanks and, and run at you. you. Oh, here comes, all right, here comes the, uh, I think he's going to try to get away, uh, find a way in here, but I don't think he's going to get much out of it. I mean, we're seeing a, a decent amount of big air lead right now. Ooh, so this big spot, two, big hits there. So it's gonna make it harder to move for manipulation to move around because mm -hmm. his A the medevacs are always in danger of being sniped by the air units and yeah. B his vision is Oh I don't know about this one. He comes in here, yeah. Well Well actually Yeah that worked out really well. I didn't expect it to. Oh uh, did his plus one just finish? Yeah, his plus one just finished. That that helped. Yeah. Ouch. Gonna get the third, he might get the natural. Oh, he's gonna get everything here, I think. And that's that's probably gonna be all she wrote. The uh, with the third going down over here, it's it's gonna be very hard to break the position. And even if he does, at what cost? You know, he's gonna be so yeah. far behind economically. You know, down thirty workers. Uh, can he get the natural? Picking off the tank with the liberator, very nice, but a little bit too little too late at this point. A decent number of marauders out of manipulation to this part. Um, yeah. It kind of gave him a little, a lot more strength against the um, tanks. Before. Yeah, he was able to charge in a little bit better because of it. Yeah. And we're seeing just Ouch. And there goes the GG. There it goes. Manipulation takes that out. 2 0. That was a pretty well played game. I don't. Well. Well played for the random side. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't think that should have worked, but it worked out. I mean, no, but <laughs> sometimes new map things happen. Yep, exactly. So, uh.